Okay, so here's a quick video on how to get the best possible audio quality out of your Canon EOS M100. We're going to take a look at the settings and then I'm going to show you how to apply micro wind muffs for excellent wind protection. So to start us off, here's a quick artificial wind noise test using micro wind muffs versus not using them. So here's what you're getting from the M100, not using micro wind muffs. Same test, this time using micro wind muffs. Quite a difference, isn't it? Menu settings first, enter the main menu, navigate to submenu number 8 and come down to sound recording. We're going to leave sound recording set to auto because for the internal microphones it's the best option. Wind filter attenuator. Turn the wind filter off because a wind filter is basically a low frequency cutter as soon as the camera detects audio distortion or wind noise for that matter. Unfortunately, cutting low frequencies will take away from the fullness of your voice and give you kind of a metallic or underwater sound. So keep this turned off. Now the attenuator on the other hand is a very good feature. Once the camera doesn't detect an audio signal, it will level down the volume so you're not recording noise. Check out what remains of the signal once I stop talking. Basically nothing. But if I turn this off, once again, let's check the signal. And as you can see, the camera doesn't level down the audio once I have stopped talking, so it's gonna record noise. So turn the attenuator on to get the cleanest possible signal. And that's it for the menu settings. Now let's move on to the micro wind muffs. So here's the micro wind jammers from Rycote. It's a two-part system. For one, you've got these pads that are applied to the camera body in the right place via adhesive tape. And then you apply the actual micro wind muff to the pads. In case of the M100, these two little holes are the microphones. Obviously, the pads should be applied with the hole of the microphone right in the middle of the hole of the pad. But in this case, to not compromise the function of the mode dial, we have to cut the pad to the right size. So cut the pad like this and now place it under the camera body like this so the mode dial still works. Apply some firm pressure and that's what it's supposed to look like. Second pad should sit approximately like this so once again we need to cut it. To cut it right, place it onto the camera but don't apply firm pressure yet and then make marks where you need to cut. And this is approximately what I need right now. Applying the second pad, make sure there's no gap between the pads where wind could pass through. And this is basically what it needs to look like. Now take the covers off. So let's apply the micro wind jammers. Make note of this though. There's a front and a back to those. See how the fur moves this way? So this means this is the front and this is the back. So the front has to point towards the lens. Number one goes right there. Apply some firm pressure and then apply the second one right here. Make sure they sit correctly in the front as well as the back. And there you go. This is how you correctly apply micro wind jammers to your Canon EOS M100. Now granted, you cannot use the little pop-up flash anymore, it's just not gonna come up. Also, the micro wind jammers to some extent will block the selfie screen. But in my opinion, these two downsides are far outweighed by the fact that now you have much better wind protection for your audio. So, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.